Well, what we have here is a Tektronix TM503 um, plug-in cabinet with a DM505 digital multimeter and a, uh, an FG504 40 megahertz function generator and a companion uh, plug-in, an SC501 mini oscilloscope. Uh, all of these are Tektronics. They're all in the TM500 series. And as you can see, uh, right now I am reading uh, 4.99 volts from my uh, input of my power supply, which is 4.9 volts, so about 5 volts here. Um, we're reading it fine on the on the moldy meter. It's DC coming in. We're on the 20 volt range. Um, I can turn the voltage down. Let's get below the 2 volt range and we'll go ahead and try and change range. There we are. We changed range, picked up an extra digit. So we are three and a half digits here. 1.6 on the power supply. Um, we are missing a couple of the uh, the push rods here on the uh, milliameter section of the um, of the digital multimeter. The switches are inside. If you were to reach in with a screwdriver, you could actuate them. Um, but obviously, at some point, you'd like to try and come up with a uh, a new um, plastic switch actuator push rod. Um, the function generator is operating right now. Uh, I am putting out a signal on my scope as you can see and if I vary the uh, the frequency here I will do that and you'll see that the oscilloscope is changing frequency not a problem. And um, I can change, right now we're, we're feeding in a sine wave, if you watch, I'll go to a triangle wave, square wave, okay, and um, I can go to a, a sweep. So here we're sweeping with a sine wave, I can change the... Uh, Extent of the sweep. And the timing of the sweep. We'll go to a much longer time. This happens to be a 10 second time period. It's a very long time. faster. One second works nicely. Um, I also have an attenuator on the output. Um, working attenuator. So many aspects of the, uh, of the unit are functioning fine. Uh, there are triggers, like right now we are in free run, there's a trigger run, there's a gate mode. Um, you're going to have to go to the uh, manual to find out more about it. Uh, I can change the, the frequency as we, by step, there's the range of the frequency we can go up. And then there's a voltage controlled input. You can feed a voltage in and, and provide a swept frequency. Uh, and then we come to the uh, the SC501 mini oscilloscope. Um, it's a pretty neat looking device. Uh, it does not function right now. Uh, there was no power light that came on, so I'm suspecting that we have a, a fault in the in the power supply. But I will uh, open it up here and give you a look at the insides. Uh, 
which is encouraging. So give me a moment here, we'll open her up. Okay, we have the mini oscilloscope open. There's the tube itself. There is uh, part of the power supply here. Main board, vertical, horizontal controls. High voltage pack. Let's go ahead and take the uh, bottom. And here we have the bottom side. The uh, control rods coming back to the pots. High voltage uh, cage area. So it looks in pretty decent shape. Um, and because the power light itself, right on the front panel, the power light's right where my finger's pointing, that didn't come on, so that's fed directly off of the uh, voltage lines of the power supply, so obviously there is a power supply problem. And um, figure that out, and there's a chance that this thing is going to work. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to sell this thing cheap and I'll let somebody else have the experience. Uh, I just don't have the time to fool with this. Uh, but it looks like a nice unit and uh, we do have some working capabilities here. I've looked it up. The, uh, the components would add up to roughly 200 to anywhere from 200 to about $700, somewhere in that area. Uh, Okay, well what we've done now is we've connected the DM505 uh, up to an AC um, calibrator. We've got the Fluke uh, 5200A feeding in a 1.63 volt signal and we're getting 1.502. Um, and if I go to change the, uh, the voltage up here, let's, uh, let's take it up, 7, 8, 9, oops, wrong way. All right, 1.93, and we've come up to 1.8, and we'll take her down the other way. All right, there's one volt even, AC-wise, and we're reading about 0.868, so. So we need a calibration on the AC. The DC was reading pretty good. Um, I tried the, uh, the resistance, but uh, there's no output uh, voltage coming for, from the resistance uh, section. So we've got, a, we've got a problem in there that needs to be resolved. Um, so it'll be a project for somebody. Um, I wish them luck. Uh, it can be fun at times, uh, rewarding too if you can get everything working well. Uh, this one has enough going for it that I can see that happening. Um, so happy bidding.